Watch out for your wallets, guys. Nintendo is coming for you again. <laughs> Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm iPommy and today we are chatting about one of my favorite topics, the Nintendo Switch eShop sale. So I just had a little scroll through the eShop, looked at my wishlist and also games I have already bought but that are on sale. So in case you haven't bought them, I want to chat about them and recommend them to you, maybe. So I have a, a pretty chunky list again. There's a big sale going, going on currently and some of these are almost no longer on sale. So I'm going to try and upload this video as soon as possible. And I hope some of you will be lucky enough to watch this. Um, if you want to get any of these games, watch this in time so you can still profit from these sales. Most of these or basically all of them really are either super chill and cozy games or like RPG like but still pretty chill in my opinion <laughs> and uh, yeah let's just get started. The first game on this list that I already own is Cozy Grove. I haven't played this in a while though I really want to pick it back up again once I'm sort of like out of my Animal Crossing mood and stop time traveling <laughs> because time traveling apparently can break your game with Cozy Grove. So Cozy Grove is 40% off currently and it is already a pretty cheap game. I especially love the soundtrack for this game. It is beautiful so calming i can just listen to it forever ever and ever it is a very cozy game as it might suggest you are a spirit scout and you arrive on this island that has these spirit bears and you have to help them fulfill their tasks and sort of like bring this island back to life <laughs> which is kind of ironic because you're also helping these spirit bears sort of like move on cross over and stuff and yeah it's just super fun it's definitely one of these games that is like animal crossing it runs in real time and you really are supposed to play for like an hour, two hours a day and just do your daily tasks and slowly watch your island grow. You can do a lot of decorating and hoarding, I mean, <laughs> like gathering stuff, which is some of my favorite things to do in a game. So I would highly recommend getting this, especially for this price. The next one is a game that I don't own, but I'm so interested in playing and it's called, okay, let me try and pronounce this, Strange Hort horticulture horticulture <laughs> i should google how to pronounce this to be honest it is now 25 percent off and it's another one of those games that isn't really that expensive to begin with so this is definitely a bargain again this looks super cozy and atmospheric like the vibes definitely i feel like fits so well with this fall season it's very witchy and i really like the art style and i think you run your own witchy shop and there's all of these strangers so you're also sort of unraveling the secrets of this mysterious town and you can like join a coven and you brew all of these potions and there's this very cute cat that's purring <laughs> next to you in your shop and it just looks really really fun and cozy and yeah i might i might get it this round i know it's been on sale a previous time because i have talked about this before and i still haven't you know took the plunge and bought this but it looks so fun next up another one that i have been it's been on my wish list for months, years even. It's called Sakuna of Rise and Ruin and it's 35% off currently. This is like a cute looking JRPG-ish and also inspired by more of medieval Asia, I would say. And I have heard great things. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have recommended this to me as well. And it is for a great price, so I'm sort of convincing myself right now to get it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me know. Have you played this? What do you think of this one? It looks really really funny. You play as this little girl. I'm pretty sure you are playing as her. She's the protagonist and I think she is a goddess but she's being sent down to earth either as punishment or to help. I'm not entirely sure. So there's a rich like story Princess, behind it and a lot of lore and no it looks so pretty too. Now. Then it shall be so. Lady Sakuna will go hunt. We'll stay here and plant the rice. <laughs> Next up is one I have not heard much about, so I'm not sure how good it's gonna be. That's always a little risky take, but it's called Tasomachi Behind the Twilight. It's 30% off right now, and it looks like a sort of adventure exploration game that is also a little bit heavy on the story. I think it looks really beautiful, and apparently it also has a lot to do again with like folklore and medieval times. I think it's also Asian inspired again. And I've heard great things about the soundtrack specifically, and I think visually it also looks really appealing. Next is another one that I first saw, I'm pretty sure, in the indie showcase of the Nintendo Direct. I did make a video about that as well. It's called Opus, 
Echo Star Song, it is the full bloom edition and it's 25% off. This just looks like an adorable, like heartwarming, more of a visual novel kind of style. I think it's very story heavy and again, the visuals just look stunning and the soundtrack amazing. That is really, really neat to pull me into a game, to be honest. <laughs> Next up is another one that I have talked about so many times, but every time there's a big sale going on, I need to make decisions because my money is unfortunately not endless. It is Rune Factory for a special and it is 40% off, so it's a great deal. It's I think it's like not even 20 euros right now. <sighs> I need to take the plunge, but then again, I still have not continued playing Rune Factory 5, so. I don't know, guys, should I get it? Rune Factory 4 is a little bit older, so it's like the remake for the Nintendo Switch and you get to play a story. I have heard that many people love Rune Factory 4. I think it's for many people the favorite out of the series and I also like it more than Rune Factory 5. So that has me very interested. And your protagonist, you have Amnesia, you sort of like wake up in this town. I think there's dragons? <laughs> again not sure and so this is like a game that combines farming life sim with like more combat rpg elements which is really fun and it's very fantasy happy next up of course i need to talk about the atelier games again <laughs> we have atelier Riza, which is currently 50 percent off it's half price it's atelier Riza 2 by the way i should specify i have not i forgot to check it's atelier Riza 1 also on sale because i already own it so it's not on my wish list anymore Maybe it is, but at least the second one is considering getting it, but I haven't played the first one, so maybe I shouldn't. But I have heard that they just keep getting better and better and people keep and keep on enjoying them more and more. I think Risa is definitely one of their most successful installments and actually Risa 3 is coming. I think early next year I saw it in a Nintendo Direct showcase, which I also made a video about. I made so many videos these past months. <laughs> the Atelier series is just so much fun. You play as a sort of like almost magical girl and you work in your own workshop, you know, and you usually just brew like potions and stuff and it combines this very sweet and wholesome sort of like life sim storytelling stuff with combat as well. It's like turn-based strategy combat and there's always some sort of like unique system with brewing these potions it, and every game is different and i'm just like how do they keep like coming up with new inventive ways to solve these little puzzles and stuff but they, they just keep on doing it i said we have one that i've been eyeing for a while it's called immortals phoenix rising i hope i'm pronouncing it right and it's always on sale for these crazy amounts which also makes me a little suspicious because i'm like is it not selling on full price? Like, what's, why is it on sale so much? I don't know. But it's currently 67% off. And this looks like a very pretty, to be honest, RPG game. Inspired more by, I think, Greek gods? I'm not sure. It just looks really pretty. And yeah, the gameplay looks fun to me. But I just, I haven't heard like any real buzz about it, which is why I'm sort of hesitant to buy it so if you have played this let me know what you think because i've been like on the edge of buying it multiple times because it is always like on sale for such huge like discount but i still have not dared to make the decision but yeah this is also on sale oh next we have one i'm so i'm dying to get this one it's called the wild at heart and it's currently 33 percent off <sighs> this looks so amazing again super like fitting for fall autumn season because it is very atmospheric looking it's more like a story book fairy tale kind of setting the music the soundtrack again is amazing the art style is so beautiful and it almost looks like you're sort of like stuck or you found yourself in this fairy tale world and you're out exploring and fighting and gathering and all the good stuff Next is one that I actually own. It's called Staxel, Staxel, and it's currently 60% off. So it's only like eight euros or something crazy like that. I own this already on the Steam. I also bought it on such a great discount, but I never really played it on PC because I was like, oh, I need this handheld. Why did I buy this on Steam? 
Now I have my Steam Deck, so I'm definitely excited to try it out on the Steam Deck. But for those of you that want to try this out on the Nintendo Switch, it is currently on sale. I can't tell you too much about this one because I haven't really played it yet, but it looks like a sort of like farming sim if it was set more in a Minecraft world, maybe? <laughs> Then we have one that I've talked about before, Little Dragon's Cafe is once again on sale. This game also feels like it's always on sale. It's 70% off, so it's only 50 euros. I think this is by now a little bit of an older game, um, but it looks really cute. I don't think I would buy this full price, but for this discount, it looks definitely interesting to check out. And I just love dragons, so the idea of like raising your own dragons, having your own little dragon cafe, sounds really, really fun and cute. Care for and train your very own dragon. Explore, hunt, and uncover new areas. Okay, next we have one I still have not played, but I have talked about this so many times, Spiritfarer. Spiritfarer is once again on sale, once again for amazing discount, 67% off. Are you kidding me? And I've heard nothing but amazing things. I have heard that it's a little emotional, it can be very heartbreaking because you are, I think, helping spirits move on to the next world, which is of course, you know, deals with topics of death and moving on, which can be hard. So yeah, be prepared for maybe some emotional moments, which is why I still not started playing it because I am a baby and I try and avoid scary things and sad things, but I will, I will play this soon, I promise. And yeah, if you want to try it out too, it is now on sale for a very, very steep discount. And the last game that I want to talk about is Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, which is 50% off, and this might finally be the time I buy it. I do think it's also, or it was until recently on Steam, so I'm not sure if I will buy it for my Steam Deck or for the Nintendo Switch, but right now it is at least on sale on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, this is a very classic Story of Seasons, or I think originally it was a Harvest Moon uh, game, and it got a remake for Nintendo Switch, and now it's called Story of Seasons, because if you don't know Harvest Moon, the new Harvest Moon games, you should not buy those. The new Harvest Moon games are now Story of Seasons. Just so you know, if you're looking for that original Harvest Moon, it is now Story of Seasons. <laughs> I want to try this out so bad. I don't have the nostalgia attached to it because I've never originally played this game. But for this price, I definitely just want to check it out. I love farming life sims. Harvest Moon is definitely like the, the original one, the ancestor of all the new farming life sims that we are getting or have gotten such as Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley, you know, the developer has said it was heavily inspired by Harvest Moon, so I'm only expecting fun and good things from it. And yeah, that was it for all of the games that I found right now that are currently on sale on the Nintendo eShop that have caught my eye, that, you know, I think or have enjoyed or think I would personally enjoy and my fellow cozy chill gamers might as well. So yeah, let me know, have you played any of these games? Are you getting any of them? Is there any I've missed that you think would also fit on this list? Let me know. And yeah, if you like this video, maybe, you know, subscribe if you want to. And you can also find all of my social media links in my description box down below, as well as my Discord server, which are very free to join. We chat about life and games and all of that stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.